guys good morning last class we have discussed about goc general organic chemistry we have gone through a brief introduction of what is goc and we have also seen the first electronic effects that is inductive effect okay we have also uh, discussed what types of inductive effect we have that is plus i and minus i and what are those group which shows this effect who shows this effect plus i or minus i effect let me recall all those things quickly here plus i effect or plus i groups are those groups which loses electron right minus i effect or minus i group are those groups which attracts or withdraws electron from the molecule right for example minus i effect shows by chlorine bromine fluorine bromine iodine right we have seen many examples over there okay now today we are going to start the application of inductive effect okay application of inductive effect few more things inductive effect you should know that inductive effect is a distance dependent effect okay i'll just write down few properties here right so inductive effect what are the characteristics we have here okay so the first thing is it is a permanent effect it is a permanent effect distance dependent effect distance dependent effect the third thing which is important here only sigma electrons are involved involved means in this effect has nothing to do with it has nothing to do with pi electrons sigma electrons means what the elect bond the bond pair of electron which is present in sigma bond pi electrons the bond pair of electron which is present in pi bond these are the few important you know characteristics of inductive effect we have which is applicable for those whether it is plus i or minus i effect okay so now coming back to the next thing here which is nothing but the application okay application of inductive effect okay so we'll see that application now and this is important here the application part application of i effect okay so there are mainly two applications of i effect we have there are mainly two applications the first one is the first one is what to compare the stability of intermediates okay the first one is to compare the stability of stability of intermediates and the second one is what acidic to to compare the acidic nature of the compound okay acidic or basic strength we can also say to compare 
I'll write down simply acid base strength. To compare acid or base strength. Okay? These are the two applications of IE5 we have. This acidic and base strength that you have, it is also affected by the various other electronic effects that we are going to study in the coming you know, sessions. But here we will discuss acidic and basic strength according to IE effect only. Okay? Now, uh, <clears throat> when we finish all those electronic effects like IE effect, resonance, hyperconjugation, then we will see a few questions which actually explains the acidic and basic strength of the molecule depending on all kinds of effects. Okay, the combined effect also we see. Means, suppose in a molecule, if resonance is also possible and I effect is also possible, then which one will be dominating and according to that, what will be the acidic strength and how do we decide the acidic strength of that molecule, that also we will see later on when we finished all the electronic effects. Okay, but now here, we will only discuss the acidic and basic strength according to I effect because we haven't gone through the other you know the other electronic effects okay so first thing we are going to discuss here is the compare of stability of intermediates okay so intermediates again it is a new thing here right we haven't discussed about intermediates so first of all we'll see what kind of intermediates we have then one by one mainly three types of intermediates we'll see here which uh, which will see the stability of those intermediates okay so what are intermediates that we'll discuss now let's see Intermediates are the compounds or ions, okay, mainly it is ions, okay. Intermediates are the compounds or ions which forms during the uh, process of a reaction, okay. When the reaction proceeds actually, so there are various different intermediates, inter like intermediates, compounds or ions form and after that the final product will get, okay. All those intermediates, uh, compounds or ions that we get, those are the intermediates of, you know, the reaction okay these intermediates are very uh, are highly you know it is uh, unstable and it and it converts into product like very fast okay very fast it converts into product easily okay so in intermediate itself however all the intermediates are you know less stable but among the intermediates only we can have different different stability of this intermediate this intermediate and this intermediate so among those intermediates we can compare the stability but overall if i ask you what is the stability of intermediates it is highly unstable molecule or ion okay so it, it, it is not stable at all and hence finally it converts into product okay so that's the thing here now we'll discuss first intermediates we'll see few examples of intermediates then we'll discuss one by one the stability of those intermediates i'll write down the definition of this okay these are highly unstable molecules or ions highly unstable molecules or ions which forms during the process of reaction and finally converts into the product. So actually this forms intermediates forms during the process of a reaction and get destroyed also at the end of the reaction. Okay? This is a different uh, like uh, not the exact definition but from this you can understand the you know the meaning of intermediates. Okay? So there are uh, different types of intermediates we have so what are those intermediates that also we will see ok so the next thing we will see here types of
intermediate. These are the different types of intermediates we have. Carbocation, free radical, carbonyl, carbene, nitrine and benzene. Okay. These free radicals we will discuss with the with the various um, reactions also how this carbon and nitrine is formed. Generally this nitrine forms in the reactions of chapter uh, amines. Okay, there most of the reactions followed by the formation of nitrine and then we'll get the get the product. Okay. So what is carbon and nitrine we'll discuss with no the classes which we are going to conduct uh, time to time. Okay. Here we'll see the stability of carbocation, free radical carbon ion also. So according to I effect we'll see the stability of carbocation first. Okay, we can discuss free radical and carbon ion also, but first we'll let us discuss carbocation. Okay, so we have to discuss the stability of carbocation. So first of all, we should understand what is carbocation. Okay, carbocation. You see, if you see a molecule or ion like this, carbon having three bond. Okay, and it has a vacant p orbital here on positive charge okay vacant p orbital and positive charge only. okay now you see the characteristics of carbocation first first of all the carbon atom is sp2 hybridized Second one, if it is sp2 hybridized, it is trigonal planar. Okay, this p orbital or vacant p orbital. This is what this is the vacant p orbital we have here. How this positive charge we have? Carbon has 4 electron in the outermost shell. Okay. Out of the 4 electron, 3 electrons are here. 1, 2 and 3. 1 electron from this atom, other one from this, other one from this and then you get a single bond here. So 3 electrons we have here. The 4th electron which is there in the p orbital, right, that is withdrawn here, right that fourth electron is not present with this carbon atom and since this carbon has loses one electron from the p orbital that p orbital becomes vacant right and since it loses one electron so it has one positive charge okay so this vacant p orbital is perpendicular to the plane of this p orbital is perpendicular to Okay. Next thing is what? Since it is has it has only three bonds, the total number of electron is what? It has six electrons. Okay, it has six electrons. Now when this six electrons, so it has incomplete octet, so it is electron deficient also. electron deficient also and may act as electron pair acceptor which is Lewis acid right which is a Lewis acid or may also behave as an electrophile may also behave as an Okay. These are the properties of carbocation here. Now, how this stability of this carbocation get affected by I effect? That's the next thing. Right? So in organic chemistry, one thing you have to always keep in mind that uh, any charged species is always less stable than the neutral one. Okay? If you compare one neutral molecule and then the charged species of the same molecule so that the neutral one always have more stability than the charged one okay so 
if any charge species you have by any means if you are neutralizing the charge okay then we are going towards stability of that particular uh, you know ion charge species okay so we have to neutralize this positive charge to make it stable okay and how do we neutralize this positive charge right by adding some electron into it then only this if you have one positive charge here if you add one electron then this positive becomes zero right so going towards neutral molecule hence it is an it is going towards stability correct right? so the point here is what we have to neutralize this charge and how do we neutralize this charge what kind of effect we require see we have two types of effect minus i and plus i and that is what we are discussing we are discussing only i effect now okay minus i effect as i said it is electron withdrawing effect e w g electron withdrawing group shows minus i effect and plus i effect is electron releasing group e r g okay electron releasing group so if you have a positive charge species say this one uh, if i take the same one x y z right or if i take this example with one example i'll try to make you understand suppose we have this molecule ch3 ch2 ch positive charge and f we have okay now in the same molecule we compare by this ch3 ch positive charge and ch3 this two molecule we are comparing the stability of this carbocation intermediate okay carbocation intermediate now you see here this part and this part is same in the two molecule we have to compare the stability of these two first of all we have to find out what is the difference in these two molecule the difference is what here we have one ch3 molecule and here we have protein that's what the difference we have and these two molecule has different characteristics also depending on the characteristics of fluorine and ch3 the stability of this carbocation will decide right so if i ask you what is the nature of fluorine it has minus i effect right fluorine has minus i effect just a second ready okay and this ch3 has plus i effect so this is minus i and this is plus i so this will release the electron and this will withdraw the electron when it withdraws electron so here what happens the positive charge density increases charge density increases right and here what happens since we are providing electron to this carbocation its positive charge density density decreases okay and hence it is going towards stability so if i compare the stability of one and two the second one obviously it is more stable than the first one this is the order of stability depending on i effect okay so with this example what we can you know conclude here that with minus i effect the stability of carbocation decreases and with plus i effect the stability of carbocation increases okay that is what i'll write down here stability of carbocation is directly proportional to plus i effect and inversely proportional to minus i effect okay this is the conclusion we can draw with these two
that is what you have to keep in mind it is logical also like i said like i said that neutral molecule is always more stable that's the key word you have to keep in mind and accordingly you can decide whether the charge on the carbon which is carbocation is increasing or decreasing if it is increasing less stable decreasing then more stable okay so depending on this we'll discuss now few examples right i'll write down the question here first you can solve it on your own you can pause the video and then we'll discuss later on okay so let me write down few questions here then we'll discuss it. okay these are the few questions i have written here you can solve this on your own you can pause the video and discuss i'll discuss the question now you see this is a a carbocation and it has one plus i group attached with it okay this carbocation has two plus i group attached to it this has three plus i group attached to it okay you see always this stability thing whether we will discuss the acidic and basic nature also this stability thing it is always relative okay it is not the absolute thing okay like you see if uh, here these three molecule if you compare so it has only one ch3 group present so this will release electron and neutralize this positive charge so if you have two ch3 group obviously the neutralization here it will be more than this and here it will be maximum because you have three ch3 group present here right so this is this will have the maximum stability then this and then this so stability order will be what if it is a if it is b if it is c then the order of stability will be c will be maximum then b and then a this is the order of stability of carbocation for the first molecule okay now if it is one suppose this is two and this is three all these fluorine chlorine bromine the difference here it is what we have this group attached with it in all the molecule the difference is this only all the things are same okay so obviously these are electron withdrawing group and which one will withdraw maximum electron the atom which has most electronegativity right so fluorine is the most electronegative atom so this will withdraw maximum electron here the positive charge density will increase maximum and hence the stability of first will be least so order of stability will be one will have least then we have two and third one will have most more stability right now this one if you compare okay fluorine electron withdrawing fluorine electron withdrawing bromine electron withdrawing which will withdraw maximum electron fluorine according to the same concept order of stability will be this okay cd3 ch3 and cd3 cd3 all these have plus i nature this is plus i plus i and plus i right and we know the plus i nature of ct3 is maximum ch3 is minimum okay so order of stability will be this this is the order of stability okay oxygen has two lone pair and it is more electronegative so this has electron withdrawing tendency right here we have ch3 ch3 has electron releasing tendency right so this will neutralize this molecule this ion stability will be more right here we have ch3 and ch3 has electron withdrawing tendency plus i nf3 we know nf3 positive charge we should have here right and if we know it is the strongest minus i effect this will withdraw electron so stability of this molecule is okay so like this we compare the stability of molecules based on i effect i write down few more examples you can solve this okay these three questions so this okay you see this oxygen is more electronegative has electron with drawing nature and this with has a difference here we have this portion and this portion you see the difference we have och3 and here we have only ch3 och3 has electron with drawing tendency because of the 
more electronegative oxygen atom and this has electron releasing tendency. So electron releasing plus I stability is will be more for the second one. Okay. This carbocation you see electron releasing, electron releasing and electron releasing. Here we have electron releasing, electron releasing and here we have electron releasing. Okay. So here we have maximum electron releasing group, stability will be this. See and if you see, if I write down here, this cyanide group has this bonding, C triple bond N. Okay. So if you see the hybridization of this carbon atom is sp and this carbon atom is sp2. Right? sp hybridized carbon atom has always more electronegative than sp2 and sp3. So electronegativity order if I write down here. Electronegativity order. Carbon which is sp hybridized is more electronegative than carbon sp2 than carbon sp3. Okay. This is why because it has 50% S character. Fifty percent S character, and this is thirty-three three percent S character, and it is twenty-five percent S character. More S character, more will be the electronegativity. That's what the logic we have. If S character is more, it means it is more close to the nucleus, and it has more electron uh, with drawing tendency, which is nothing but the electron. Negativity, right? So sp, sp2, sp3. So you see, this carbo, this group has more electronegativity than this group. This has more electron withdrawing nature. This also has electron withdrawing nature. Why? Because this carbon atom is sp3 hybridized, and this carbon atom also is sp3 hybridized. So sp and sp3, this will withdraw electron. sp2 and sp3, it is more electronegative than sp3. This will also withdraw electron, but electron withdrawing tendency here it will be more, and hence the stability of second one is more than that of first one. Okay. So these are the few examples we have discussed. One more thing here we can discuss that this is one thing. A second thing is what carbocation, which is three degree, is always more stable than two degree, than you know one degree, and then methyl carbocation. Okay, three degree carbocation. Why it is more stable? Because it has three carbon donor at an alkyl group. One, two, and three. All these three will donate the electron. So most stable. Only two, two degree. Only one, one degree. So order of stability will be this for carbocation. Okay. So these are the few examples we have done for the stability of carbocation.